Hi, so today I'll be showing you how to use JSOP, which is a Java library that allows you to extract data from the web. Um, so this is a documentation, and according to the documentation, JSOP is a Java library for working with real-world HTML. And so in this video, I'll show you how to search Google and basically extract data from Google. And so in this particular case, what we're going to do is we're, we're going to pretend that a user wants to enter a food type or just a generic food in general and basically get back the amount of calories that food contains. So to get that data, we need to search some sort of database. And what better database than Google? So if you search Apple calories and you hit enter, you get this. 95 calories and if you hit something else like beef rib calories you get this so um, beef ribs has 302 calories for one quantity or one serving so instead of the user having to search this in Google every single time what if we wrote a program to basically tell them the calories for them instead of them having to do the work so what we have to do, just like in any program, we have to find a pattern. So the pattern in this case is found in the HTML. So let's open that up. So we right click, hit view page source. And right now, when you open this up, this may look daunting and it did to me the first time, but all you have to do is you have to find where this element is. So copy this element and then hit control F and paste it. And right away, you can see a pop-up. And right here, you should take note of the element because that identifies where it will be. And take note of the class right here, area live. This area live represents this area of the page. And so in this way, we can differentiate from all the other 95 calories that we find in this document. So let's get to the code. Okay, so now I'm using IntelliJ, but as always, you can use any IDE you want. So to get started, let's create a new class and let's just name it um, main. And let me first initialize this. Okay, so before we start, um, let's make sure we have the right dependencies. So you go to File, Project Structure, and make sure you have this JSOP um, library in your um, libraries. So in that way, um, when the program looks for the right classes, it will find it. So don't worry about this because I will post it in the description to the video. So now let's get started. So now let's create um, the getCalories method in the main class. So let's do public void get calories and for now let's leave the parameter list blank and now at the base of any JSOP program you need a document because JSOP is a HTML parser so we need to pass it in a document and so let's say a document document equals JSOP dot connect and this takes in a URL so this is the URL it needs to connect to so in this case, it's the Google search URL, which is this. And so after the Q and the equals, this is where our search or what the user wants to search goes. So in this case, it's going to be Apple plus calories. And the plus just stands for the space. It's basically what concatenates the string. And so then we have to do dot dot get to get the actual HTML document. And so it's giving us an error. Um, oh yeah, so we have to surround this using a try catch. So do Control Alt T and hit six, and this will surround it with a try catch. And so now that we have the document loaded, we have to get the element itself. So to do that, we have to do element element equals document dot select. And inside here, this is not any anything related to programming, it's just a pattern. So 
the pattern is the element. So the element in this case that we want to select is if we go here, go all the way down, the element we want to select is div. So we go back here, we type div, and we put square brackets. And then the square brackets is to select something in that element itself. So what we want to select is the contents in area live. So let's go back and type in area dash live. So let me make sure I spell that cor correctly. Area dash live. Okay, it's good. And so to make sure we don't get all of them, because all we need is just the first one. So we can just go here and just do dot first, because if you go here, as you can see, this is the first one in the document. You don't need any of these. So there's no need to fetch them if you don't need them. So um, now let's just print it out. So system.out.print, let's do element. So if we just do this, this will print the whole element. But if you want the contents of the element, you want to do dot to string, and this will give you the text inside the element. So now let's run the program. So let's say main, let's just make this a static method so that we can call it from anywhere we like. Static void. And let's just do main dot get calories. And now if we run it, we get this. We get div class, this whole element. And so to just get 95 calorie, so I think I misspoke earlier, the two string method just prints the whole element itself. But we act, what we actually want is element dot text, and this will print the text inside the, of the element. So let's click run again. And sure enough, what we see is 95 calories. So that's what we want to display to the user. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any more questions, or if you want to do something else with the library, just comment down below, and um, whatever you guys want to do next, I'll do it. Thank you.